And this is actually a juvenile red shouldered hawk right here. And actually in most hawk species, uh, the juveniles are bigger than the adults. Uh, the juveniles look bigger than the adults are. So, yeah. Plus juvenile red shouldered hawks don't have as much of that salmon pink color on the bottom. So. There's a little fragile forktail sitting right here. Looks to be a female. It's got the blue exclamation point running down its back. Very hard species to catch though. Still try. Very, very hard species to catch though. Definitely a female this tunnel. It's a pretty one. Alright, this little uh, this little damselfly that I'm holding in my hand right here has that bright red tail. Uh, that's why it would be called a duckweed fire tail. This one's a male. Females are more of like a brown tan color. Sometimes more on the grayish brown side. And while the males have more of a reddish brown color, sometimes even with a little tan stripe on the abdomen, I mean on the thorax, like this guy, their abdomens on the males are bright red. Hence the name duckweed fire tail. Alright, it's just sitting right there. Beautiful. Duckweed fire tail. No way. Right on this path right here is a tiny little, but I, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost full grown, a striped mud turtle. If you see those three stripes on the back, is one of the best ways to identify it, but also that long, slim face. Very thin, sharp snout. And those stripes on the face as well. Very cute species. Very, not very easy to notice too. It just looks like a little coconut on the floor. I don't really want anyone stepping on this thing. That sitting right there, that is a southern leopard frog. And you can see the overall brown color, with all those black spots. That's why they're called leopard frogs. There's actually a rare green morph. Some of them get a little bit of green coloration on them. The best way to identify these is actually the very contrasting pale lines running down the two sides behind the eye. That right there is a praying mantis. This is actually my first time ever seeing a praying mantis. Just look at that guy sitting right on top of there. Really good camouflage. You can see those big claws and that odd shaped head. It's a very odd-looking insect. This is a nymph. It's videoing. This is a nymph praying mantis, so there's no worrying about getting too close to you at all. Um, let mom the do. nymph praying mantises, they can't fly at all. You see, they don't have wings. And this is actually really large for a nymph. Imagine how big this thing could get as a full-grown adult. Look at this guy's... Look at this guy. His head. That guy's head. I love that weird looking head that they have. Overall weird body shape. And those two front legs. Those those two front legs, you'll be surprised at how fast those two front legs can move. Uh, praying mantises have very fast reflexes and they could catch pretty much anything that flies next to them. Dragonflies, bugs. They've even been known, large praying mantises have been, even been known to be able to catch small birds with these really fast two front feet. Really highly adapted two front feet as well, you can see. They're kind of bending over a little. Just such a cool looking praying mantis. I set this guy down. There he goes.